Greetings, friends. People are wondering, I don't know, is there a recession in New Zealand and Australia right now? I'm a bit nervous. I don't know if I should look for work. <clears throat> and uh, okay, there is a slowdown, but you know what? It's called winter. <laughs> um, that's part of the explanation. Of course, we are post COVID and some people are still in pain, but not everyone. In every market, robust, competitive market, there's always winners and losers. There's always people doing better than others. Some businesses are doing really well. Because of the team, because of demand, there's always a reason why things shift and change around. If you're looking for work, you should be looking for productive companies that are doing well. And guess what? The time to find them is right now. Uh, I'll explain, okay? So why right now? Uh, winter is the slow season, and so what is the high season? It's summer. Longer days, warmer weather, economy lifts on average. Of course, there are some industries that have their high season in winter, but on average, the high season is in summer. So what you can do with this information, if you're serious about finding work, this is a great time to look. It may surprise you, but last year, last calendar year was the highest on record for net positive migration to New Zealand, 133,000 people. Look it up. I have the statistics if you like from Statistics New Zealand. And another factor here, New Zealand workers are going to Australia. Australia is having a bit, bit of a boom, more of a boom than we are. We are growing, but Australia is growing faster and paying more. So New Zealanders that are going to Australia are leaving jobs. The best ones are going out. The best ones who are, let's say, maybe ready to move. Single, usually, um, more mobile. So those guys are going. Those people are going. And so that what we can do with that is we can consider that what kind of pain does New Zealand employers have? And what kind of growth does Australian employers have? And let's look for those opportunities because we're not average people. We're not looking for an average job. We're not looking at average statistics. We're looking for high performance companies that perform well in any economy. There's gonna be high performance companies. So the best thing you can do, best thing you can do is be on the lookout for the hiring boom, which happens every year. It's a hiring boom. It is a boom of hiring every year. It's the same time every year. It's spring, September and October, the time of hiring boom every single year. Why? I'll explain. Spring is the best time to hire for employers if they want to have a full contingent of staff in the busier summer months. So September, October, you can hire, you can work them in during October, November. By the time we get to December, they're already fitting in, they're already acclimated to the way things work. They're already somewhat productive. They're still learning, but they're somewhat productive. They don't need babysitting. They don't need hand-holding. They don't need a lot of attention and mentoring because they are functional. So when people take time off, when people get sick, they're fine, the employers are fine, and they're watching out for these moments. They're making these opportunities proactively because they want to grow. They want to get ahead of their competition and they are ready to make a risk. And the time to make that decision is in spring. So you want to be ready for spring, which means right now preparing for that. You have all of August to prepare. You want to be ready for, for September and October. Make it happen if you're interested. This is the time, best time of the year to look for work is right now.